today is May 31st, 2013. Here we are in the manufacturing and R&D facility, and here I am with Marty. We will be free to me everything of what they do on the solar panel manufacturing. Okay, today in our R&D facility in San Jose, we actually start with the level of assembly that we receive from our Hattiesburg, Mississippi, where they begin the process simplify what we do here. So what we receive is our molly coated panel, which is the base electrode or the first layer of the sandwich which ends up building up to become the whole device. So okay. what, what is this? What is this here? These are holding racks. Well, typically they're holding our molly panels in the molly rack. These are actually fully built panels. We don't have any molly panels out here today because we produce them okay. for the week. starting point, the glass comes into the process. So typically speaking, what we do is we'll do the glass. Yeah, then you put the glass in the top. This is a clean glass. This can now the beauty of this is that this glass can be a window pane. It can be any glass, any glass that we can use for building, for windows and all of that. Yeah, in fact it is exactly that. It's it's called it's from a, a float line, soda line glass, and it's exactly what's used in Windows today, so it's a very high-throughput, cost-effective uh, component for beginning the production okay, process. Okay, so this is another thing that this glass can be window pane, door pane, glasses in building, and it can be made any size at the standard glass size? Yes. Okay, so from, from this glass, what happens then? Okay, so like I said, the first layer that goes down is the base electrode. Today, we don't do that in this facility. It comes from us at that level of uh, assembly from our Mississippi plant. They have a manufacturing plant in Mississippi. This is California and the San Jose. Right. And in this plant, they do their R&D. It's R&D, so this is just a very humble pilot line that does very low volume of development uh, type of production. Of course, our, our volume uh, plant in Mississippi is designed to do many megawatts per month uh, as a okay, production. So here, what is the next step? Okay, once we have the molly panel, it comes into the line here. It goes to a washing system to clear the surface of the green, which is the first little machine here. And then the washing machine. The washing machine. Okay. All right. taking glass and on glass they are putting different metal material to make that plain glass into a solar panel. Right? And it is there are three components, silicon, copper Indian gallium. Copper Indian and gallium they put a taste that in these machines onto that glass. Look 
through here. There's a there's a furnace in the back um, garage there. It's in a contained area because there are gases which we must contain in, in the event of an escape to protect for human safety. But what happens in that process is there's different hydride gases of selenium and sulfur that are introduced in combination with the sick metals that have been placed on the panel. It's a diffusing semiconductor-like process, so it's actually where the metals are transformed from conductive elements into semiconductive elements, which form the basis of the photovoltaic uh, device. Where do you put the wiring for the transfer of electrons that make electricity? Okay. In, in our case, since we're making a monolithic film, for each cell, we actually don't put wires down. We scribe lines to make the circuit. So there's a special process. Um, it's a one piece of equipment here that we use three times in the process. In the manufacturing in, in Hattiesburg, there's three separate machines at three different points in the process to, to make that circuit. So the, the cells of the thin film monolithic device are actually made by removing material, not adding wires. Except for the very end, when we put two bus bars down the side for the plus and the minus, those are actually wires that are added to the very edges of the panel to collect the current and output it through the J-Box into the system, into the array. Okay. Now, what is the difference between this and a solar panel? Solar panel? What is the difference? The, the, the main difference in terms of its construction is we deposit completely on, a, on, a, on that glass substrate with the layers that ultimately become the device and scribe the lines in between to separate them into cells. In the case of the silicon processes, there is actually silicon wafers that are cut and then each one is individually processed to build up the, the, the PV device on the silicon wafer and then all of those wafers are mechanically assembled onto a module where ours has already been directly deposited onto the module, and then each one of those silicon wafers needs to be wired together, where we have integrated the connection, and then actually have separated the cells by scribing versus wiring. Okay, now in a building, if we have the window, will there be an inverter to each panel, or how would you do that? Typically, in a large utility scale, there will be a string of panels connected to an inverter, um, so it, it varies. You can go to an individual level, which is more common in a smaller array or residence. In a large scale, there would be a, a long string of uh, panels which would be combined and then get put into uh, an inverter. And there would be, certainly for 10 megawatts, many inverters, but there would be many more panels that are for inverter than are for one. Okay. It's a lamination right now, which is where the okay. top glass is installed. Sure. What is this? All right. This is a laser system that uh, ablates the edge. So for UL requirements for safety, there needs to be uh, a, an exposed area around where the material has been removed from the plate. And this laser system does that removal. solution to protect the, the uh, final module from moisture degradation. 